the first time on any screen the story of John Paul Jones, the poor immigrant boy who lived to become one of America's greatest heroes. The man who sailed and fought on the seven seas of the world and gave the United States its earliest tradition of heroism and victory. John Paul Jones, sailor adventurer who won the love and adoration of beautiful women the respect and admiration of powerful kings and imperious queens, and became the toast of four nations. In a thousand useful things we could learn from the king's navy. Instead, we adopt its worst fault, appointment by political or family influence. But forget me. Much more important, Mr. Hughes, is that this infant navy of a new country is already plagued by favoritism and corruption. That must be stamped out at the beginning. You'll have no navy. Robert Stack as John Paul Jones, the triumphant sailor who was forced to fight the intrigues and the prejudices of politicians, the jealousy and the snobbery of people in high places. They're both in love with the same woman. You gave her ancestors, I'll give her heirs. You gave her a name old with honors, I'll give her a new one we can build together. And more, I'll give her the strongest love a man can give. What more can you ask? That you leave this house. Make no attempt ever to see my daughter again. Erin O'Brien as the Southern Belle who was his first love. I heard you were a buccaneer captain. Perhaps even a pirate. Now I find you playing at words like a poet. Marissa Pavan as Amy de Telesan whose royal birth made marriage with a commoner impossible. You will take care, Captain. Come back safe. Charles Coburn as Benjamin Franklin, wise counselor and friend. MacDonald Carey as Virginian lawyer Patrick Henry. Jean-Pierre Aumont as the King of France. Tom Branham as Peter Woolley, the little clerk determined to trade his pen for a gun. Guest star Betty Davis as Catherine the Great of Russia and many other international stars. All the revelry of the rush of the czars, the pomp and glitter of French palaces, the courage and the glory of great naval battles that have earned the immortality of history. No, sir! I have not yet begun a fight!